I'm in Prefecture, and I've come here for one reason in particular. Maguro. A lot of people say that this is the center of the Maguro world. Here in Aomori has some of the best anywhere, and I've come here to find out how good is it. At the luggage carousel in Aomori Airport, I was greeted with a welcome sign written on a tuna. Yeah, Hon Maguro is big here. Oma is famous throughout Japan for having the top bluefin tuna. And you can see the city's love and respect for Honmaguro just about everywhere. This deco truck at the dock transports Oma's Honmaguro to Tsukiji Market. The driver's love for the fish painted all around the exterior. Oma is located in Aomori Prefecture on the very top of Honshu, Japan's main island. The Tsugaru Strait between Hokkaido and Aomori is where the bluefin tuna swim, from the Pacific to the Sea of Japan, the best season from autumn to New Year. Oma is right at the tip with easy access to the sea. The port town has a lot of small fishing vessels, the town's population surrounding it. I got the chance to go out in a fishing boat and watch the other fishermen hunt Maguro, but first I had to prepare for the rough seas ahead. The captain gave us a quick explanation before boarding. The boat has large lights on it to catch squid at night, but doubles up as a Maguro boat in season. The winds picked up quickly as we made our way out to sea. The ride got quite bumpy at times, swaying a couple of meters from side to side. There was a feeling of urgency on this hunt, getting out there quickly with other fishermen trying to catch a bluefin tuna. The competitive spirit was in the air. You can see large schools of Maguro on radar, and many fishermen start the hunt when they find that zone. So the Maguro watching has started. I don't see any Maguro, and I'm not sure how you would how you would know unless the captain tells you over there. But the sea is pretty rough. It's about what one or two meter sized waves, maybe higher. <laughs> but that just makes it all the more fun. In Aomori, it is customary to battle the bluefin tuna with line and pole, mano y mano. Bluefin tuna here can weigh between 200 and 300 kilograms, and the fight between fishermen and fish is real. When you catch one, it really is a reason to celebrate. Once an Oma Honmaguro sold for as much as 155.4 million yen, or 1.4 million dollars. This restaurant in Oma is called Omanzoku, and the place where I had my first Honmaguro of the day. After the fish is caught, it has to be transported to Tsukiji Market in Tokyo, where it's auctioned. Omanzoku has to buy the fish there and transport it back. The restaurant buys three to four Oma Honmaguro per week on average. Not only is this Maguro valuable, it weighs over 200 kilograms, 440 pounds. It's carefully moved to the cutting table. When one comes in, restaurant owner Takeuchi-san can put on the bluefin tuna carving show. But what makes Oma's Hon Maguro so popular and delicious? At Skiji Market, bidders check the maguro for its fattiness and consistency. Oma's Hon Maguro is consistently the best because, in the Tsugaru Straits, they eat a lot of squid and fatty salary, or mackerel pike. By the time they get to Oma, their meat has a wonderful fat consistency and taste. Back in Oma, the tuna is inspected carefully and then prepped for carving. Takeuchi-san puts on a show every time a maguro comes in. Tourists come from all over Japan and the world to watch him cut up a tuna that can cost as much as a car. 
He uses a variety of knives and saws. Each has its own job to do on a certain part of the tuna. The audience claps at certain times, knowing the job of carving the tuna is far from easy. Takeuchi-san has been doing this for years, the motion's done on instinct. That's right, listen up. Here is the three honmaguro cuts you need to know. Akami is the lean red meat taken from the fin. Chutoro is from the middle belly with higher fat content. Otoro is from the lower belly and the pinkest from the high fat content. Yeah, this is gonna melt in your mouth and since there's not much of it, it's expensive. You can get all three in the restaurant. It's open 365 days a year. Look at that otoro. I also love akami too. Different consistency, different taste. So this is it. This is the maguro that he was cutting up in the front of the shop just a few minutes ago. And now here it is on my plate. And uh, I'm just looking at the one right in front of me. This is otoro and chutoro and akami. And the otoro is just so beautiful. Look at that. This is the fatty piece of tuna. It's so good. It's so tender, so soft. You don't even have to chew it, just it melts in your mouth. Let's talk with the owner, Takeuchi san, about what makes Oma tuna so great. So that tuna makes a long round trip to Tokyo and back. But why? <laughs> that may be jokingly true, but Takeuchi-san's victories can be seen in the photos around the restaurant. and the Oma labels from Honmaguro bought in Skiji served the customers are proudly displayed on the wall. But we're not done eating. I hopped across town to another restaurant. This is Hamazushi, and they take full advantage of the town's Honmaguro. The sushi, sashimi, and kaisen don are all great. But I'm here for a full seven course maguro meal. This is the full course. It's a really big meal. As you can see, everything is maguro. It comes from the maguro, the tuna. All of it local here from Oma. A lot of it I've never seen before, which makes it very, very exotic and extremely unique. I can't wait to dig into this. I don't even know where to start.
a boiling pot of something, definitely from Magro, but what? Most of this won't suit everybody's palate, but this is Magro Sushi and something we all know. The full course will set you back over 7,000 yen, or about $70, but it's the best way to get the full scope of Magaro cuisine in Oma. So there you have it, Japan's most famous Magaro in Oma Aomori. You come here for the experience, the love for the sea and fish. Oma's culture is surrounded by the bluefin tuna, and if you're a fan of Magaro and eating the best sushi around, it's a must-visit destination for foodies and adventure seekers with big stomachs. Itadakimasu. Next time, I head to Gunma Prefecture to visit the Tomioka Silk Mill. Have you ever wondered why Japan is so high-tech